So, friends, uh, I would like to show you a summary of, of lectures that I do when I conduct summer school in uh, different countries. At present, I am having summer school in Hungary, in France, in United States. And what I do in summer school? In summer school, basically I teach the Materia Medica as given in Materia Medica Pura and in uh, Hahnemann's chronic disease and the Materia Medica of 36 key remedies that we use very frequently in our practice. I feel it is very essential that a homeopathic doctor gets accustomed with the common polycrest remedy because this is the core of anybody's practice. If you master these big remedies, then it is not very difficult to have a good successful practice. Small remedies you can always pick it up while you are practicing, but the basic fundamental key remedies are extremely essential so that you will not face major problems in your practice. Now, the question is how do we study these remedies? Kent preferred teaching these remedies from A to Z to his students, but this is not the real method which uh, I accept or I follow. The best thing is to study a big remedy and then to study small remedies that has a relationship with a bigger remedy. Now, this method was basically followed by Nash and Herring. If you study the book by Nash titled Leaders in Homeopathy, the first remedy is Naxvamika, but the subsequent remedy is Pulsatila. The reason being that the Pulsatila and Nax are extremely related to each other. Similarly, Herring introduced the method of studying Materia Medica, what he called as the diagnostic method in which he said that one should study the characteristic symptom of all the polycrest remedy and then take a group of well known remedy, study them and then compare that group with a less well known remedy. I would say to any student that one should study at least uh, 3 to 4 hours every week. But most important thing is do not memorize Materia Medica. When you study a remedy, try to know how will you assess the same material when there is a need. This is important. If you are suspecting a case of phosphorus, then you should be able to assess from your study the essential keynotes and the essential features of phosphorus instead of recalling all the symptoms that you had memorized earlier. So, memorizing Materia Medica like a parrot is not at all important. Margaret Tyler used to always tell her students that Materia Medica a day and on Sunday too. This was her way of uh, advising the students how to study Materia Medica. Now, first step when you start your study in homeopathy is to get yourself familiarized with five important major homeopathic remedies. Take two to three months to get yourself accustomed to these five remedies. Then over a period of next two to three months, familiarize yourself with another five big polycrest. 
slowly slowly at the end of the year maybe you familiarize yourself with 20 to 24 big deep acting constitutional remedies but do not memorize them recognize them like the people that you know that this remedy resembles my mother this remedy resembles my sister this resemble my friend peter who is very close to me so instead of memorizing rec try to recognize that uh, remedy amongst your relationship that will really help you most important thing is when you study materia medica from the book try and apply that knowledge in the practical world practical will means the world outside the book einstein said once what you read in book leave it in the book that is very important that means do not accept what is written in the book exactly because you may not see that in the outside world things will be quite different materia medicas were written some 100 150 years ago so you may not find exactly the same thing in your practice but you may identify a similar features in your practice you may identify a similar features in your life you may identify a similar features in your family and this is what is important that when you study materia medica it should be not a dead subject it should be live the way we breathe in the way we breathe out the way we drink water the way we eat food constantly we should have a picture of materia medica running in our mind when we are drinking the water are we drinking the water very hurriedly like arsenic album are we get ex do we get excited like kali carb when the food is not served on the table immediately so try and bring these examples as you live your life so then materia medica becomes a part of your life and not just the dead subject in the book that only when you open the book it gets activated and when you close the book it's a dead chapter no materia medica should be a uh, 24 multiplied by 7 like all the days and all the hours of the life then let's go a step further what are the sources that you can learn materia medica from as i said to you earlier learn five remedies but which books will you select this is important then the most important book that i would suggest if you really want to do a very systemic study is is to start from Hahnemann. open the Hahnemann in two places either in chronic disease or in pura and try and read what are the things which Hahnemann tries to repeat very frequently in that remedy words that he repeats frequently sentences which he repeats frequently and underline those things because while you underline repeatedly a certain word it gets memorized in your brain that this is what Hahnemann has to say once you underline the words and the sentences from Hahnemann make a small note of what you have underlined and then immediately open Allen's keynote or Allen's handbook of materia medica what is known as encyclopedia handbook and then go to Herring and try and see what Hahnemann has said repeatedly what Allen has to say and what Herring has to say you will see 9 out of 10 times it's the same repetition it's the same importance and then you may get some additional information 